watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, once beaten British heavyweight contender Dillian the Body Snatcher White has an onslaught of words and rips into former unified Mexican heavyweight world champion Andy Ruiz Jr. via social media, telling Andy Ruiz Jr. stop making up excuses for being overweight and not being uh, um, locked in and not being focused. You just flat out lost, you got beat. He said, uh, now you're making up a bunch of excuses, uh, firing your trainer. Nobody cares about none of that. How says, how about me and you just go ahead and get it in? He kept reposting everything Andy Ruiz Jr. put up. Uh, he reposted it, put it on his social media, and said that Andy Ruiz Jr. was making a fool of himself, making a mockery of himself. But yet, uh, Dillian White wants to face off against Andy Ruiz Jr., right? If you believe Andy Ruiz Jr. is not um, focused, he's not dialed in, uh, he's not committed to the sport, then why are you looking to fight him? Are you looking to get an easy victory? That's how it comes off across uh, to me with this situation with Dillian White, right? Uh, Dillian White, uh, yes, and I have to agree, Andrew Ruiz wasn't locked in, he wasn't focused. We all know that, right? He said that uh, Andrew Ruiz is making up all these excuses, and then he's saying, let's fight. But at the same token, his his promoter, Matchroom CEO and promoter, promoter of Dillian White, Eddie Hearn, came out and stated that Dylan White will more than likely be facing Alexander Povetkin in March. So if you look in the face Alexander Povetkin, March 28th, actually he gave the date, then why are you calling out Andy Ruiz Jr.? This is what he did. He had a date already set to fight Derek Sosora, and he was talking uh, uh, at that point in time, he was going back and forth with Luis Ortiz and no, he couldn't fight Ortiz. So it's like Dillian White is doing this to clout chase. Does Dillian White truly believe that he could beat these fighters? Because he's not fighting these level of fighters. Andrew Weeds, uh, even in the shape he was against Anthony Joshua in the second fight, in the rematch, would still give Dillian White all types of problems and may even beat Dillian White that version. Dillian White has the nerve to tell Andrew Weeds he came out of shape and making up excuses and yet, Dillian White had a fight with Maurice Watt and was completely out of shape. 270 pounds. Not too far from what Andrew Ruiz was. And now, your, your promoter, Eddie Hearn, is stating that you have a fight with Alexander Povetkin set up for March 28th, and yet, Dillian White is calling out Andy Ruiz, telling Andy Ruiz, let's fight. So this has to give you an inkling of what's going on between Dillian White and Deontay Wilder. You continue to call out Deontay Wilder, but clearly, you have no interest in fighting Deontay Wilder because you had the path to the, the path to lead you to Deontay Wilder and you chose to take a different path that led you in a different direction. You had map quest to, to Deontay Wilder and you chose to use your better judgment, turn off map quest, use your own uh, uh, um, directions, and it, ended, and it, it saw you in a different path. It saw you uh, end up in a different um, target. Your destination was different. So, you now you're calling out Andrew Weiss. I, I pray and I hope that Andrew Weiss truly gets in shape, truly locks in for the sport of boxing because he's great for the sport of boxing. He became the first Mexican heavyweight champion and he did it by becoming unified in one of the biggest upsets in the history of the sport. Dropping Joshua four times and stopping him. He did something Dillian White couldn't do. Dillian White got, got dropped and stopped by Anthony Joshua in the seventh round. Andrew Weiss in reverse Stop Anthony Joshua in the seventh round. How ironic is that? Anthony Joshua stopped Dillian White in the seventh round, and Andrew Weiss stops uh, uh, Anthony Joshua in the seventh round. How ironic is that? But yet, Dillian White is, is going around complaining and saying that Andrew Weiss is making up excuses. Dillian White is trying to talk himself into big fights. At this point in time, I'm starting to believe that Dillian White is looking to cash out. That's how it's coming across. He just wants big fights financially, not for legacy. He's claiming he'll fight all these fighters. Anybody can get it. But he already has a fight schedule with a guy in Alexander Povetkin who's his last two opponents have is going to be over 40 plus years of age. 
and yet Dillian White is 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 saying that anybody can get it. Alexander Povetkin arguably lost to Michael Hunter. He was hurt and wobbled at, at least three times. Looked like he was getting ready to get stopped against Michael Hunter, who was a former cruiserweight. Right, and so he didn't look great. So you're calling out a bunch of guys that didn't look great in their last fights, but you say anybody can get it. I truly hope this fight comes to fruition. I truly hope that Andrew Ruiz Jr. locks in. He's hiring uh, trainer Teddy Atlas as a new trainer. Hopefully that's a, 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 um, a hire, and hopefully that's a change of scenery that gets the train back on the track, the Andrew Ruiz train back on track, gets him back focused, a new voice in his corner, and uh, he gets back in shape, dedicates himself to the sport of boxing, and fights Dillian White. It's a great fight. And I favor Andy Ruiz to win that fight. Dillian White has trouble with hand speed. Dillian White doesn't have the best chin in the world. Andy Ruiz is very active. Dillian White has stamina issues. Match made in heaven for Andy Ruiz, in my opinion. So hopefully this fight comes to fruition. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.